good afternoon. My name is Carl Rubenstein. I'm the collaboration sales specialist at CDI. Uh, today I'm sitting with Dana, Dennis Sainhav, Chairman and CEO of 3C Logic, uh, one of the most innovative call center platforms these days. So Dennis, thank you very much for joining today. Um, I imagine the COVID crisis has had a profound effect on your industry. So what do you see has changed? Hey, Carl. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Um, yeah, well, of course, as you can imagine, like, like a lot of things, uh, you know, COVID-19 has, has, has created a lot of changes in the, you know, in our industry. Uh, I mean, uh, the way I see it, maybe uh, three major uh, trends have been affected most. Uh, the, the first one, I mean, that would be the biggest one is uh, the one known as uh, digital um, transformation. I mean, we're all in the middle of that and it's getting accelerated. Actually, there was a, a study recently done uh, in, by Fortune magazine saying that 75% um, of, uh, of the, the Fortune 500 CEOs thought that uh, digital transformation was being accelerated uh, by COVID. Uh, the, the, the second, uh, and this is more, you know, uh, call center centric, is that we see that voice is making a big return. Uh, people are talking again. They're you know, actually grabbing their phone and talking, which is refreshing. Uh, and uh, and the third one is uh, is of course uh, what we all experience. I see I see you at home. I'm also at home. I've been there for three months. So it's this new trend of you know working from home. Thank you for that. Um, so digital transformation transformation uh, means a lot of things to uh, a lot of different providers and manufacturers. How does three C Logic uh, define uh, digital transformation? Well, for us, uh, it, it's it's a few things. Um, the, the the first one, which is really the underlying um, foundation of digital transformation in our industry, is that um, a lot of the te uh, you know telephony systems for a lot of large uh, uh, companies and and their call center is still on premise. Uh, and uh, so the first thing is to move all of those seats from on premise to the cloud. Uh, the the second thing, and maybe even more important, uh, is that um, as part of digital transformation, the large enterprises that we serve uh, are looking at cleaning the house. They have hundreds of, of different um, you know, software out there that they're using, and this is a chance to really try to standardize uh, and, and streamline things. So, for example, uh, they are looking for a, a platform for sales and marketing. A lot of them are going to go with Salesforce or Microsoft Dynamics. When it comes to support service, uh, those large enterprises uh, might go with, um, you know, uh, ServiceNow. Uh, and so what is important then is to find uh, solutions that work really well with those platforms that on which they've decided to, to standardize. And that's where a solution like 3C Logix co comes in when it comes to, you know, call center and telephony, uh, where we mesh everything with a ServiceNow. Uh, the, the third one really is, um, well, it's called digital transformation for a reason, right? Uh, it's, it's the move uh, to uh, digital uh, workflows. So it's gonna be more email, uh, it's gonna be uh, chat, chatbots. But what's really important is that you make sure that those work very well uh, with your telephony system so that uh, the customer experience could be enhanced. So you mentioned earlier about voice making a, a return. How do you feel voice interactions will impact digital transformation? Well, um, again, uh, this is all about making everything work well together. Um, interestingly enough, uh, you might not be talking to humans anymore, but you're still talking. So at home, um, it's very acceptable now to talk to Alexa. And uh, you know, on your phone, you're gonna be asking things uh, from Siri. Uh, it's uh, and you're, you're, you're gonna to talk to your car. So in your normal, in your you know, everyday life, uh, there's already an acceptance that uh, you, could be, you would, could be talking to, to, to machines instead of talking to humans. Well, this is, this is making a, a, a big entry into uh, the, world, the world of work now. Um, so in the, in the past, you would have something like a voice recognition when you were dialing a, a, a phone, they would ask you, you know, press one, press two, press three, or they ask you to say it. Well, when you were trying to say it, it never worked. Um, well, now it does work. So it, it, you're gonna be using your voice to actually um, you know, prompt everything instead of pushing numbers on your phone. 
it's this is a minor chance, but it's going in the right direction. Where things get very exciting is that um, we, um, you know, voice recognition, uh, which powers things like Alexa, uh, are the same thing that now are being powering um, call centers. So uh, let's imagine that you have a conversation uh, with a machine or with a human. Uh, now that conversation is being uh, recorded and that recording is being transcribed. When it's being transcribed, it's turned to data and it can be mined. Where, where that is interesting is that from mining that data, you can create better outcome for, for customers and a much better customer experience. Excellent, thank you. Um, this may be my last question, but what does the new work from home culture mean to uh, 3C Logic? Well, I tell you, uh, I was not in favor of work from home historically. If you ask my employee, uh, was the guy I wanted, you know, uh, they wanted them to be in the office all the time. And then eventually they won uh, and, and they got one day a week where they could work from home. Well, I'm totally convinced I was wrong. Uh, and and um, again, going back to this, um, this study from, uh, uh, from Fortune magazine, uh, you, you, those same CEOs are saying now that 26% of the workers that, that went home will never return or definitely not ever return to the, uh, the, 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 the type of working and more environment that they had before. So th this is happening, it's happening in a big way. Now, in order to work from home efficiently, you need to be able to do everything like we're doing today from a, a, a laptop. So you need to be able to combine uh, the voice that would come naturally from, from your cell phone and, and, and have it coming from a cell phone on your, on your laptop. That way, if you have, you know, a service now or a Salesforce that you're working on as your platform or record as, as an employee, uh, you can also combine with all the, all the, the benefit of, um, you know, of having the voice in the same platform. Now, that is true for the agent, but that's also true for the manager, because the thing that we had not foreseen is that not only agents were working, working from home, but manager, managers have to work from home as well. So now, if you if you combine everything uh, with your platform of record, let's say a service now on on your laptop, you now have everything that you need at your fingertips to manage remotely those agents from your home, which is which is really a step that I've not been foreseen before. So at the end, um, what what are we looking for? We are looking uh, at better productivity for the agent, and we're looking again at better customer experience. Well, Dennis, thank you very much. I have no more questions this afternoon, but thank you again for, for having this fireside chat with me and uh, with us. And uh, if anybody has any questions, feel free to look up Dennis or myself, and we're happy to, to assist with any questions you might have. Thank you all, and have a good afternoon.